Hi, how you doing? Okay, this playlist, this is the introduction to this playlist. This playlist, there's a part one and a part two to um, explaining the Yon Sway Faith. The Yon Sway Faith, of course, is uh, my brand of Rasta. Um, I spent 11 years studying Rastafarianism, the religion of Bob Marley, and which is kind of like a combination of like Christianity, witchcraft, and Buddhism. Um, so uh, I, I studied, spent a lot of effort studying that, and and um, and I realized that I, I that I should just uh, it was I mean it's, I guess it's not necessary, but it's what I ended up doing was just kind of for the sake of like assigning a language to the to the to the the work I'd done. I put a name to it, and that's Yah and Sway. Yah is, is Ja, the older name for Ja. The letter Y came before J. And Sway is the English word in Sue, to follow. So it means, and Ja is in your heart. So it means to follow your heart. The religion of, not the religion, but the faith. It's not a religion, of course. It's a lifestyle. Uh, Ross is constantly saying, this isn't a religion, it's a lifestyle. Because Eile Slossii, who's the pinnacle, you know, he's, that's who Rastafari is, where the name comes from, believed that religion was out of date, that spirituality is what it's really about in lifestyle. Okay, so part one and part two. This is part one, okay? Part one, so I think a good way to explain it is, um, is, is by looking at this book. This is one of my favorite books in the whole world, The 21 Lessons of Merlin, by Douglas Monroe. This book, I love, love this book. It's the best book in the, ever. If you like Arthurian lore, this is a must because most legends, they, you know, they're supposed to be myths and legends. I mean, anything is, you know. Even a true story is really just based on a true story. But, but the, this is different because it's out of the ancient texts and the. The ancient information we have about the real Arthur. If you wanted to know, well, skip all the legend and that. What do we know about the real Arthur and Merlin? And this is about that story. So Merlin, um, well, the, the Arthur was was the would be king. He was going to be king, and uh, it was a, a time when the old ways were the ways of the Druids. Merlin is a Druid, and and the Roman Catholic Church was was uh, taking over the land by force, and um, it's it's actually not a real good time. But the thing is, is the 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 new leaders in the Catholic Church they didn't they didn't want the old ways to completely be extinguished. So they uh, they had Mer Merlin and a Catholic priest beforehand had a private conversation, and Merlin vowed that. Well, the the priest said, "Can you teach Merlin? Can you teach Arthur the old ways? You know, and uh, and promise us that you won't do anything in contrary to the Catholic Church. You know, so Arthur can mix in with the Catholic Church some of the old ways, so they won't all just completely die out. So that they're, you know, so that you'll it'll be this religion, but yet it won't totally drown out the past and everything." So he agreed to do that, and he did that in 21 lessons. He'd cut not all at once. Some of them were a year or two, or a year or something in between lessons. But uh, he would show up every once in a while and teach Arthur a new lesson, and that's what these are, the lessons. So this lesson of this scene, um, okay, so we have an apprentice. He always wore, Arthur's wearing green. So there's three kinds of druids. There's the apprentice, and they wear green, a bard, and they wear blue, and then the, the elders, um, I'm not sure, can't remember what they're called, they wear white. So here you can see that this is an apprentice and an elder. Um, most druids were bards. Okay, so the apprentice, the reason their robe is green is because they make a vow to be vegetarian, and to, to get closer to pr plants. And uh, the, the robe is green because it's stained in, in green uh, plants. It's stained it green. 
Uh, and then so anyway, so he's an apprentice and this in this box Merlin's showing him Merlin's four symbols for fire, water, air, and earth. And um, he's, he's assigning uh, between now and the next lesson that Arthur find his own personal symbols, magic tools, to represent each of the four elements, which is the most basic of lessons. So that's what this is like. The first, uh, th there's this is just a two-part thing, not a three-part thing. And uh, this one is like the apprentice, like the green robe. And the next one is like the bard, the blue robe. Okay? So this one, had have, it explains fire, water, air, and earth. It explains what the deity of uh, Yan Sui is, Ja, and what Ja means, and, and all that. Um, what, you know, the basic concepts. Uh, and all, all the long explanations, like, but, yeah, but if... Uh, does 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 Jaw have a body in the sky? Is he a man in the sky? Um, does uh, the you know what is magic? Um, you know just all the most basic level things, you know, and uh, that's why there needs to be two playlists because the next playlist is going to be, you know, after all that six all and it's necessary. It's necessary to go through this step because if you just go straight to the other one. I'm just going to go right into things that I do and stuff like that and, and try to filter out all the all the explanations and everything. But really, you need to hear all the explanations first, you know. Um, but, you know, cause it's, to tell you the truth, it's a bit narcissistic to skip the first level because that means that you, you're like, oh, oh, come on, I already know all that. Cut the bullshit and let me just see the... But you don't, you know. You don't know everything. You don't humble yourself. You don't know. Nobody does. I'm the only, I'm the only one in the world that's Yan Sway. You know, I mean, maybe one day it'll turn to a coven or something or blah, blah, blah. And I go over that. You know, I go over all the, that's also kind of entry level, right? What the Yan Sway is, ha who founded it, you know, the most basic things, okay? So, um, but it's necessary. So this is the first part. 